Hello everyone. So for today I'm going to do a quick unboxing and do the swatches for this watercolor paint box by Emoku or Key. Maybe it says thank you. Thanks for giving our small family run business a shot. Your orders and reviews matter more than you can imagine. Sincerely, Jess. So we're going to pull out this, this, and this. I could care less about the pencil. And then it also comes with a box of watercolor paper, which is going to be again it's one of them i want to learn how to watercolor with paints that are better than just children's paints so and then this is the swatch thing so we got this i'm gonna set this up here and I just want to show off how professional this looks compared to my children's. Well, I didn't bring out my children's, so. Place to mix them. But, oh, it looks so pretty. There's metallic ones too. So, here we go. I'm going to set these up here. And then we got these two brushes too, but I'm not going to use them today. The two brushes, and that's all in this water color box here, which I think the box is kind of cool in itself. But So we get this one, which has like the big... brush wide brush there then we have this one which is a little bit of a longer tubed looking brush I don't know what the difference in brushes so <laughs> somebody who probably knows a little bit more about watercolor probably is but again I, I want to do watercolor because when I'm doing my mixed media art I don't have very much mixed media products but one of the products that I've been kind of like wanting for a long time is watercolor so I can try them this one's a wider one this one's probably going to be the one that we do for the swatches this one has like a long piece hanging out of it so that and an even tinier one. So, I'm just going to do this white here just to see the white because I don't think they're going to see the white otherwise. All right, then we'll start swatching this part. And I heard whenever you get a new kit, this is the first thing you should do. Um, I think Frugal Crafter and quite a few other ones that I've watched has said you swatch your pieces out as much as you can when you first get them. But these are so much nicer, so many shades. compared to my watercolors that are just 
my plain old watercolors. And you don't need much in order to have a lot, which is nice too. The oranges are coming out kind of yellow though. I am noticing that, kind of like a golden yellow color. So far. Ooh, that one's like a deep orange. This is like an orange red color. That one's a little bit more red. Let's try this next one. This is a definite red. Wonder if this will actually turn out pink. This is a pink color. Ooh. I've never actually seen pink watercolor before, so that's really pretty. It's like a rose <coughs> color pink. This is supposed to be like a hot pink. I don't know what color pink this one's supposed to be, but this is supposed to be a pink. This is supposed to be gold. Like, yeah, it is coming out a goldish color. Next one's kind of like a interesting green. Ooh, that doesn't look right. Okay. This is not green, indefinitely, like a mustard yellow. And I somehow got paint on myself already. Don't know how I did that, but I did. This is like supposed to be a sea foam or aqua color. Lime green. These colors are definitely coming out lighter than what they look like. Like when you add water to it, it's coming out way lighter, which is fine with me. just interesting because again I've only dealt with children's <laughs> colors so
or paints. Ooh, I think this one's going to be really pretty. <clears throat> that purple kind of looks like a pink. A light blue. And these blues will get darker as we go on, I'm sure. Yeah, these blues are just getting darker the more I go down the line. Okay, the next ones are browns and grays and blacks, I'm guessing. Ooh, that's a really pretty one. But I'm doing this so then when I go to use this later on, I'll know what I'm looking at. All I have to do is look on the card to see what colors I want in order to use them. Which is the point of swatching. <coughs> you want to look know what they look like when you go to use them without spending too much time this is the metallics now that's gold This one, they seem to be harder to get off of it. Here's the next one. It's like dry. It dries immediately. Let's try adding a little bit more water to this one and scrubbing it, like scraping it a little bit if we can get more pigment. The metallics seem to be less pigmented and the pigments don't seem to want to work as much. Like you've got to really rub your brush into it in order to get a little bit of pigment. 
at this point. And it don't seem very metallic-y. It does when it's on paper though, I guess, a little bit, but not much. This is like a metallic red that I'm trying to use right now. Ooh, that definitely looks pigmented now. So, this compared to its swatches, I like it. Again, it, it's different. I've never done watercolor before, but it gives me more options and that type of thing rather than just my watercolor pencils and the kids' watercolors to use which I do like having that option and maybe I'll eventually learn how to watercolor which would be nice so I hope you enjoyed this video I know it was a little unboxing and doing swatches please like subscribe and comment if i don't get comments i don't know what you guys are thinking so enjoy the rest of your day or night bye